It was um, just after midnight and we could hear the sirens, but we couldn't tell where they were coming from. I just keep hearing them stronger and stronger and stronger. That was wild. We didn't know what was going on. Nothing quite prepared people in the River Park neighborhood of Sacramento for what they would see next. I'm sorry, it's just funny. <laughs> um, a forklift. I had no idea that it was going to be a forklift. A slow speed chase that police say started on Fair Oaks Boulevard near Howe Avenue just before midnight. Another guy driving a forklift that's blacked out in the roadway. The officer tried to pull over the forklift driver. Yeah, he's clearly not going to stop. So I guess we'll just call it a pursuit. I'm going about 10 miles an hour. It was a very slow chase. Chelsea Lieber saw it all unfold. We just couldn't believe it. Neighbors listened along with a police scanner app. What's the industry standard runtime for a full propane tank on a forklift? Not very long. Video from Jennifer Blake showed six patrol cars in pursuit. I was kind of shocked that they were all going to keep following like that for a forklift. <laughs> Nearby at Glen Hall Park, a chain link fence needed repairs today after police say the forklift driver rammed through it and headed onto the bike path along the American River. When there's one baller, to, we're going to see what he's going to do about it. Can you squeeze in between it? Oh, he did. Two miles from here near Howe Avenue, the chase ended last night with an arrest. But today, neighbors are still talking about the strange scene. It was a surreal moment. In Sacramento, Liz Amitri, KCRA 3 News. Police arrested 47-year-old Wayne Mathern on suspicion of evading arrest and vandalism. They say they're still working to verify whether that forklift was stolen.